I can't breathe. The weather is getting colder in most places. I say as I sit sweating in 80 degree weather during a November heat wave. So I thought I'd do a video on winter outfits and winter fashion, and in particular how to actually stay warm in winter using proper layering. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to stay warm and layer for the winter, and I'm going to show you a few outfit ideas using these tips. And these outfits are going to feature a couple purses from this brand called Zinbono, which graciously gifted me these bags. They are both 100% vegan handbags, cruelty free and they're super cute and stylish. First I have this white baguette handbag which is really cute and more spacious than I expected it to be which I really like. And then I have this black crossbody purse and I like the shape, it's pretty unique and I think it's really cute and goes with pretty much everything. If you like either of these bags, definitely check out Sinbono. I'll link their website in the description box below and you can use my code MARIAL26 for 26% off your purchase. So I really hope these tips help you and I hope you like these outfit ideas and if you do, like this video comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at the Just Relief and on TikTok at Just Relief if you want some more fashion content from me. With all that said, let's jump right into this video. So the first tip I have is materials, materials, materials. And by that, I mean fabric content is super important. I always try to look for wool in particular because I feel like that's the number one fabric for the winter. It will keep you really warm, but still be really breathable. And it's naturally pretty water resistant. So other materials you could look for are fleece, like fleece lined leggings or fleece jacket, Sherpa or faux fur, corduroy, and faux leather or faux suede also works really well because they're pretty thick or tweed or velvet. These materials are pretty commonly found in fall and winter clothes and for good reason because they keep you pretty warm. So first you want to go for a base layer, at least like a thermal layer of a long sleeve and leggings and it would be like something you'd wear at home um, but then you can throw on more clothes on top of that and your base layer can also be made of wool. I would look for merino wool and that would be very warm and breathable. But if it's really cold where you are, you can also layer more on top or underneath that thermal layer. For for example, I would wear some tights underneath the leggings and maybe a thin long sleeve top or just a tank top underneath the thermal top um, just to keep your upper body a little bit more warm. Another long sleeve can feel pretty bulky though so I try to avoid that and just focus on getting a good thermal layer made of like merino wool. That'll keep you really warm by itself. I'd also go for some wool socks. They are so much warmer than other types of materials for socks and they're really comfortable and moisture wicking which helps a lot if you got some stinky toes. If you want to wear shorter skirts, if your climate allows, one tip would be to wear some fleece lined nude tights and then wear black sheer tights on top of that. So it looks like you're just wearing sheer tights but you actually have like two layers underneath there and the fleece lining will keep you pretty warm as well. I know in Japan they have fake sheer tights that already come with that like attached together like the nude lining underneath and the sheer tights on top um, but I don't know if they have that here. I haven't seen a decent pair but if you know any in the US, let me know in the comments below. If it's not warm enough to wear short skirts where you are, another tip I have is to wear wider leg pants or longer skirts, especially if it's made of wool or any other good winter material, and just layer a lot of like layers underneath those um, because the wider leg or the longer skirts have a lot more room to work with. You can put on multiple layers and stay really warm. Um, I also recommend wearing vests to keep your upper body warm um, because if you wear like lots of long sleeves, your arms start to feel like sausages. You could barely lift them. And so I recommend wearing vests to keep this torso section warm at the very least. And again, just focus on materials. When it comes to shoes, I would go for a slimmer, sleeker silhouette of a boot so it will look less bulky. And then I'd also try to go for knee high or over the knee boots because first of all, you can layer it underneath the pants or underneath the long skirt. So it looks like you're just wearing a regular boot, but you could also layer it over the pants and it'll look slimmer as well and less bulky there. And they're like an extra layer to keep your lower legs warm as well. So I always try to Go for those when I can. To look less bulky in coats, I would try to get a coat that tapers in at the waist or comes with a belt so you could cinch in the waist so it gives you a little bit of shape. Or you can go for a thinner coat and just wear an extra jacket or sweater underneath. 
And then finally, for accessories, those always help you stay warm as well. Scarves, hats, gloves. But they're super easy to take off when you get indoors and look a little less bulky when you get inside. So I always recommend those as well. Now I'm going to show you just a few outfit ideas using these tips. And I'm going to go into voiceover mode because like I said earlier, it's really hot where I am. So I have to turn the fan on for these. So for this first outfit, I have on my thermal long sleeve and my thermal leggings and then I threw on a white turtleneck over that and a tan sweater over that and then I put on my white wool pants over the leggings and then underneath the wool pants but over the leggings, I have on this brown knee-high lace-up boot and this is great because the knee-high length keeps my lower legs pretty warm as a little extra layer but it still looks like regular boots because the pants cover most of the boot. And then I threw on my long camel coat and paired everything with my white baguette purse from Simbono. As you can see, the coat is also a little oversized on me, so the belt helps make it look less bulky. For this next outfit, I have on again my thermal layer, and then I threw on my black paisley skirt over that, and then I have on my black knee-high boots under the skirt, and again, it's a nice little extra layer on my lower legs. Then I threw on my black sweater, and I also have a black sweater vest underneath that. And like I mentioned earlier, wearing a vest is a great way to keep your upper body extra warm, but it doesn't have that bulkiness in the arms, especially because I'm throwing on another coat over it. I have on this black long coat, a black scarf, and then I paired it with my black crossbody purse from Simbono as well. Next, again I'm wearing my thermal layer and this time I layered some brown wool pants over it and then I paired it with my white cable knit sweater and I have on another thin jacket. I'm going for this brown leather blazer and wearing my cream lace-up boots and this time I'm throwing on a thinner brown trench coat over the whole outfit. And again I paired it with my white baguette purse. Next, I wanted to do that fake sheer tights look. So I have on this black turtleneck tucked into this black mini skirt. I wore some nude tights and then some sheer tights over that. Have on these black boots. I think I might also go for knee high boots if I want to stay even warmer. And then I threw on my brown trench coat as well. And I paired this outfit with my black crossbody purse again. Finally for this last outfit, again over my thermal long sleeve and leggings, I have on a brown turtleneck tucked into some white leg jeans. And underneath the white leg jeans, I have on these knee-high brown heeled boots. Um, they kind of just look like regular boots since I have on these wide leg jeans covering it. And then I threw on my camel coat again, and again paired it with my white baguette purse. If this isn't enough warm for you, I'd also layer another sweater or a vest over the turtleneck to keep the upper body more warm. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like these outfits and I hope you like these tips. And if it helped you out, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, and I will see you guys in the next one.